Time is literally slipping right through your hand. Like sands in the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. If you remember that. The old soap opera, Days of Our Lives, that showed the hourglass and sand slipping through. That's our life, and we don't really get it until we get older. So the purpose of this video, by the end of this video, I want you to write down two people in your life that you're going to make a better connection with. And the whole purpose of this is to help you understand how quickly time is slipping away. Never did I think that I would be sitting here at 60 years old, and at 60 years old with a diagnosis of cancer. And because I'm 60 with a diagnosis of cancer, I am now viewing my life from a completely different lens than I had prior to me turning 60 years old, which is just one day older than what I was at 59. And a diagnosis of prostate cancer, and someone say, Clark, well, prostate cancer is manageable. The bottom line is it's still cancer. It's the second leading cause of cancer death in men because of the sheer amount of men that will get it. But that's not the point. The point is I look at life completely differently with respect to how quickly time passes by. So what I want you to take away from this is understanding that your life is going by so fast and you won't realize it until you realize it. And too often people realize it later down the line, but it's never too late. You can always either reconcile, make a relationship better with somebody or have more time with a person because that's really what I wanna speak about, the amount of time that we have left with people. Let's just take our kids, for example. I heard something the other day. It was a study that was done that suggested that by the time our kids are 18 years old and they leave the house, we will have spent 90% of the time that we will be with them overall until we pass. We will, we've already spent 90% of the time with them. So you might see them intermittently if they need to do laundry at your house, or if they're coming over for an event. Like today is Mother's Day, I'm shooting this. Neither one of our kids are here. They're off doing their life right? They did the obligatory call. I am in California. My mom's in Ohio. I saw a picture of her that my sister sent, but I'm not with her. 90% of the time, I'm nearing the 100% mark with my mom, and then it's going to be done and over with. So you know what I'm doing? I'm going to get in an airplane this week and go see my mom just to be with her, if, even if it's just for me, even if she doesn't know that I'm there, which I know she will. Energetically, she's going to know that I'm there. But I want that time with her, and I'm not putting anything else in front of it because there's nothing more important, to me at least, and most likely to you because you're a human with common sense and love for the people that are in your circle. Nothing is more important to me than the time that we have available with people. So let me talk about kids still in this concept of 18 years old. This is kind of a side note. I think we got it wrong in the United States of America with respect to how we use these phrases of bravado. When my kid gets 18, they're out of here. Man, I can't wait to get till my kid gets 18, they're out of here. Fuck that, fuck that, that's so dumb. Why would you wanna kick your kid out of your house at 18 years old and then have that be pretty much the end of the amount of quality time that you're gonna have with that person, with that child, with that human that you help create and raise to be who they are, to go off in the world and contribute. We are the only culture that kicks our kids out at 18 years old, and I don't buy into it. And if you're like, Clark, oh, that's dumb. Fuck you, I don't care, I don't care. Like, it is so important to me to have quality time with my kids, and I'll go out of my way to do that. And I'm only reminding, I'm not saying that you're not that person. What I'm saying is, too often we get caught up with work, with Zoom calls, meetings, we're sitting there on a Zoom call, your kid walks in with the baseball glove or the football or the dance leotard on and says, Daddy, my kids still call me Dada. Dada, you want to go through the football? Absolutely. fucking lutely let's go. Even with a sore shoulder, I'll throw that shit left-handed. Dada, you want to go have lunch with me? 100%. Gotta cancel the Zoom call, guys. I won't be on the team meeting today. You got it without me. I'm gonna go hang out with my daughter. I am only reminding you of the fact that time flies by quickly and we cannot get an ounce of it back. And as a guy who is now 60 with cancer, I look at my life so much differently than I used to before understanding that the amount of time that I have left with the people that I love is limited and what the studies and the statistics say is that I have already invested the majority of the time that I would invest with those people but I don't accept that I'm going to make an effort whether they want to or not like I had already said my kids are not here to celebrate with their mom because they would just show up hey mom happy Mother's Day flower uh, Starbucks gift card whatever it is that they would give to her and then be off and gone on their way. So even if it's something that we want, they might not 
want it because they are caught up and busy. So we need to intentionally make people aware of the fact that our goal is to have more time with them. If we want, so if I was talking to my daughter, for example, Taylor, I would love to be able to have more time with you. How can we make it so that is something that becomes a reality? I realize you're busy, you got a life going on, and it might not be a priority to you like it is to me, but one day you'll wish that you had time with your old dad. He's not here anymore. My dad's not here. Maybe your dad's not here. Maybe your mom's not here. Maybe they're both here. I don't know. Maybe they live far away. Maybe they live close. Sometimes five minutes can be as hard to get to as five hours because we don't prioritize the importance of investing in, in getting around people and spending time with them. So I had asked you at the beginning of this to consider two people. I want you to write down two people right now and really reach out to them and say, look, my intention is that we heal our relationship, we create a closer bond, we get to know each other better, we spend more time together. I learn about you in your life because you know there was this thing that happened along the way and I don't quite understand it, but you're important enough to me to let you know that I really am interested in learning who you are now because we all change as we grow. So write those two people down, reach out to them and make a concerted effort to bring that relationship closer together. And don't be one of these statistics where you have already spent 90% of the time with that person that you love and you want more time with. Fucking a business appointment ain't worth it. Another dollar ain't worth it. I promise you. You have everything you need right now. Be grateful for that and really reach out to those people. Write them down. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Make it a great day.